パパラパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパ Not looking forward to it. But let's run through and show you exactly what's sold since Friday. First on the list, which I think I showed you in one of the other videos, is this Polaroid 1000 LAN camera box. Paid about three quid for a load of them from an auction. I've sold this with the camera before. It got returned and now I've split them out. And I've sold the box for £34. It's off to America, I believe. This big, heavy, carved wooden elephant sold for £12. I've had this for probably a year now. Owes me about four quid. So I'm not really into profit on that one but it's gone and it all adds up. Some Barker Clifford formal level lace-ups, 35 pound. They owe me about eight pound, I think, from a charity shop. Amplicon's Powertel phone. This owes me three quid from a charity shop. I'll always pick these up. They're like phones for the elderly and hard of hearing. You can add application devices onto the phone so they can hear better, the buttons are bigger. It's basically for anyone who has a tough time using a standard telephone and they sell really, really fast. So keep an eye out for that brand. I only learned of it about a month or so ago. A bunch of Geo tracks. I paid £10 for a massive stack. I have sold off trains for £30, about three of those. I've sold off separate tracks for £15. I've sold off this now for £30. There's loads more left to go as well. So a great little bundle that was. Fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with that pickup. Ronin Dub Virtual Warriors. I've had this for a very long time. I thought this would go much quicker than it did. It's a Bluebird Toys from 98, still sealed in the packet. Never heard of it, but because of who made it and what it was and the year that it was made, I bought it. I paid six quid, I think, for that. It sold on a 10% discount. In fact, there was a note and it said, go on, Ricky, with the 10% discount. I hope business is booming. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you very much to whoever purchased this. You obviously follow my channel. I do appreciate it. Big shout out to you. I don't know who you are when it regards to Instagram or Facebook names, but please make yourself known. I do appreciate it massively. Thank you. Star Wars Purple Mace Windu Lightsaber. Sold for £21.25. Paid £2 for this from a charity shop. A bunch of cast iron claw foot casters. The reason why I bought these was nostalgia, really. I remember having them in my grandma's house. Paid £5 for the bundle. They sold for £12.50. They took an offer on my 10% discount code. The Simpsons Large Plush Octopus. This is massive. Absolutely huge. I couldn't find anything else like it. I tried very, very hard. In the end, I decided. List it for 50 See what happens. Sold for £45 on an offer. Off to Estates. One of my large letter fantasies. However, it doesn't hold the profit that I really want them to. But these are nice little tricklers, especially for feedback and algorithm tickling. £2.80 sold. I paid £10 for about 140 packets. So I, I do okay. I make about a pound after fees and stuff. A Tyco Mutator radio control car. This was an auction pickup. Listed it for 110 It does have some damage to the front. So I happily took an offer of £75. Free postage. Added to the weekly takings. Got it moved. And I didn't pay too much for it. Rohan shirt. I bought a load of these from the charity shop at the same time. Paid £3.25 a piece. They've been selling for around about £12 to £18 each. Some Dunkelman shoe trees. Had these for ages. I was using them when I was listing things like Lokes and Barkers, etc. Because they really make the shoe look nice. They're that kind of vintage style instead of just a plastic shoe tree. However, I realised I was doing okay without them. So I've sold them. £30. Another collection of retro pin badges. I've been selling these off now. I've had these listed for a very long time and they haven't been selling. All of a sudden, they start to go. I'm wondering if people want them for Christmas presents. Bundle of 50, £15. Paid about £6 in total over time, building a big collection of them. Eventually had enough to just split them out. I've actually still got some that I've picked out that are a bit more special that I'm going to be listing individually. Resident Evil 4 and the Nintendo GameCube, part of my recent pickup that I haven't shown you a video of yet because Vlogmas has got in the way of that. But £20, I paid nothing for my uncle. Uncle Andrew, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I've sold quite a lot of that stuff now, dude. Currently in the edit, and I thought I'd break away here just to say a big thank you to my Uncle Andrew. He has recently helped me last week. He gave me a bunch of stuff to sell, and I've made so much money from it. I'm very, very happy, and I'm very, very appreciative of it. Uncle Andrew, thank you very much. He does have a YouTube channel where he does like Star Wars figures, collectibles. He makes things and adds his own spin to them. He does what they call dioramas and all those kinds of cool stuff. Really, really good at what he does and he knows his stuff too. So if you wouldn't mind going and subscribing to his channel, if you're into that kind of thing, his channel's up here and I'll put his link in the description down below. Now back to the edit. Barbie bundle dolls figure. I put them on an auction. I bought these a little while ago. You would have seen I paid £3 a bag for about four bags. I've sold off a Monster High doll for 12 
I've sold off one of the dog things for 28 um, and I've got a few more bundles listed and this one was just this slack of it and just got rid of it £5.50 plus postage on that one I always add postage on auctions because you never know and here's the camera from the Polaroid Land 1000 I originally sold it all for £45 it came back returned in a very shoddy return I've ended up selling it for £45 for the case and £25 for the camera so I actually got more splitting it out the William Shakespeare book that I picked up from the jumble sale for 50 pence couldn't find anything else on it let it go for £25 just got rid of it Marilyn Monroe calendar bundle 23 13 through to 2017 they are all new and sealed sold for 14 pound and is off to the states a bunch of jazz vintage puppets i actually paid 10 pound for this plus a puppet scenery put the puppet scenery into an auction house it never sold over two weeks told them to keep it and donate it to their charity that they have anything left over there's an option to collect it or donate it to their charity they have an elderly care home just around the corner and they do things for them told them they can add that to that but this is what split out the puppets 25 pound plus postage so in actual fact i've still made profit very happy with this sale a bunch of jt edson vintage novels if you remember a little while ago i paid six pounds fifty for 130 books i've split them up into a bundles I did one bundle of 50 and I did about six bundles of 20, no, six bundles of 13. I've sold off three of those bundles. I've got three bundles left and this one bundle of 50 that I had sold for £135. Buzzing. Some Dr. Martin DMs ombre paid £5.50 for these no more than a week ago. Sold for £25.50. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Yeah, I will. Efteling. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas leaf collection they're basically baubles and hangers like little elves on icicles paid £1.25 per box I've got two boxes this one has sold for £35 I believe they're worth a hell of a lot more than that but as Christmas was approaching I decided to reduce 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 until they sold I think I started out at 100 quid but I'm in the selling game not the storage game if they didn't sell this side of Christmas I would have had to hold on to them so I'm happy to let them go for that another Rohan shirt same story £3.25 paid £16 Another Simpsons plush, the same time that I picked up the octopus, I picked up this. I think I paid like £3 each for them. This one was easier to find, there was other solds on this. £20 is the lower end what you could achieve, but I was happy to let it go for that, especially after just selling the octopus in the same weekend. Nature Planet Iguana, you would have seen this in one of my other videos. Picked it up for £2.25, they're not worth too much at all, but they do sell okay, so I was happy to buy that, as I was already buying a big bundle of stuff from a charity shop. When I buy big bundles, I like to think about the whole price, break it down by the units that I bought and each item cost me the total paid divided by the amount of items so even though I paid £2.25 for that I believe it worked out about 75p Mighty Max 94 Bluebird toy this is a cool little piece I've had this for a year now let it go for I believe it sold for £5.40 on a 10% offer Timberland short sleeve shirt very very big very very thick got that kind of workwear chore vibe to it paid £10 for that from a charity shop let it go for £28 Gillette Razor, I picked up a Razor set from a car boot from a big bundle. Inside the vintage Razor set was actually a Gillette Razor in and amongst a generic Razor set. So I decided to part this out. Could have got more for the Razor, but as things were selling nicely over the weekend and I was building up a nice weekly total, I decided to just let it go and add to the total. The last piece of Tommy Trackmaster set, I've sold one. I added another one free of charge to a pink front door. And then this one has gone now as well, £12. I think it owes me nothing. I paid £10 for a massive bundle of stuff. I've sold off the trains. I've sold off other track. I think I've had about £300 out of that bundle, to be honest. Thank you to Ian, the man set of pieces, for putting me on to Trackmaster. Timberland t-shirt, brand new with tags, but creased to effery. Paid three or four pounds from that from a charity shop while I was making a big bundle. I picked up a grey one as well. So even though I paid four pounds, it doesn't really owe me four pounds. Now, this is a fantastic little jacket. It owes me six pounds. Bought it a couple of months ago sold nicely in time for the winter wales top somebody's feeling very confident this world cup especially after their last performance this sold once before and then they never paid so it got cancelled after four days and it sold again this morning for 24 pound and that's it unless we've got any more come through no but it is only 10 o'clock so i'm hoping to have a few more sales before the day is out it is very cold in here today so do not judge me for dressing like bianca jackson Right, needs must. I want to give a big shout out to reseller Daz. He is an OG in the game. He has so much knowledge and so much to give. He is kind hearted. He's able to have banter. He is just one of the staple members of the community that I believe deserves way more recognition than he gets. Even though he does get a lot of recognition, the man needs to be on top. He doesn't have a YouTube channel, but that does not make him any less of an important figure in this community. And I'm not just saying that because he spends all his money with me either, but that definitely helps. So I want to say a big thank you to Daz for purchasing this Gantz spell out jumper off me. I offered it him for £20. He sent me a payment of £25 with a lovely message saying, please get Ada some sweets and a present or something along them lines. So I immediately went to eBay 
and bought her some little tassels for her bike. We've got her a bike for Christmas, so I've bought her some tassels on the love of Daz. So Daz, thank you very much for the purchase, and I'm sure Ada will be very happy with her tassels. I can't really tell her to say thank you right now, otherwise she'll know what she's got for Christmas. But thank you, brother. I don't know how eagle-eyed most of you would have been, but my unit over the last month has just had unlisted stuff, stuff to be listed, and listed stuff just everywhere, all over the place. Yesterday, I managed to condense it and sort it out. All of this stuff along here now is listed. All of this stuff along here is all unlisted. So I'm not, oh, and, and more unlisted stuff on here. In fact, some, in fact, some of this is the stuff that I picked out some of my sales. So I wanted to just start cracking on with it and getting a getting like a little uh, head of myself yesterday. But at least now I can just, I know where everything is. Does that make sense? I know where everything is. Fantastic. A little bit of boring guff for you. Currently Sunday, the 4th of December, 12 minutes past 10. I am two subscribers away from having a community of 5,000 of you people that watch me and follow what I do. So hopefully as of tomorrow, that's going to be a nice round 5,000 of you guys that follow what I do for whatever reason it is, whether it's entertainment, whether it's the tips every now and then. Man, I massively appreciate it. I'm so humbled and so grateful. When I started this channel, I never thought I would have this kind of community. I knew that I had something to give back because I was watching people and thinking, I do that and I have a, I have a different way of doing that. So let me show that. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I'd ever get to this kind of level of reselling community. 5,000 is a lot when it comes to reselling. The roof is quite small. You've got people like George and Chaddy that have blew up. George has been there from like day one almost. He's been at the very early start of it. Nick Hills and Andrea, they've been doing it for so long as well. And Chaddy just blew up. But Chaddy's got that personality where he obviously hit the algorithm really nicely. He produces great content and he deserves all the success he's got. 5,000 for me is plenty. Of course, I'm always going to push for more. Why wouldn't I? I want to grow this community. The more people that I have around me, the more that I end up having to offer and the more that I want to share different types of things. Does that make sense? So please let it be known that I am so grateful for all of you that are here. It's not going to notice either. And the interaction that I get with you guys is fantastic. I've built some great friends, built some people that I genuinely class as family that I will rip the piss out of all day, but I will stand in the way of a moving bullet for those guys. All of you, thank you ever so much. I do appreciate it. I'm not getting emotional. I'm struggling to breathe in this, ja in this jacket. It's like a condom. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Speaking of bullets, I'm going to bite this one and get some pack in them, I think, because oh, there is so much to do. So much. Ah, so that's everything picked. I have got stacks to pack. It goes right the way back. It's awkward as hell. And this big geo tracks here. And this pile of clothing here. I think it's, what was it, 32, 36, can't remember. But I'm grateful, 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 grateful. Massive amounts going out this weekend. So the kids got to go football now. And I've managed to get a big dent in the postage. Got bags full over there, but that's all I have time for at the moment. On this round, so I'm going to go in, take care of Ada for a couple of hours, and then come back in. So I should be back to posting by around about half two. Hopefully I can get that done by maybe half three, because I'm trying to use as little bubble wrap as I can. So I'm almost out. I've got another roll coming tomorrow. That'll be okay in a cardboard box, won't it? Just rub it in, yeah? So that's 20 past four, and that is everything shipped bar two. Send it off on what we've got there. That can wait. While we're here, let's see if we've managed to get the number. Drum roll, please. No. Nah. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow for the 5,000.